Bristol Myers, makers of Sal Hepatica for the smile of health and true shave, he beforehand lotion presents Wednesday with you. Starring Nora Martin, Fred Martell, Leonard Seuss, his orchestra, and yours truly, Harry Bonzell, saluting the 38th birthday of the United States Army Air Corps. <laughs> Salute. But now, look, there's work to be done, you know, around Cantor's Cozy Cabana. There always is. Yeah, I know, but today it's important. President Truman has proclaimed it Army Air Corps Day, and we've got very special guests coming here. I want you to set aside the front rows in the balcony for 200 flyers, and 200 wax will be sitting in the orchestra. There's only one thing that worries me. What's that? How am I going to keep those flyers from bailing out of the balcony? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Harry, those flyers are gentlemen. They are. Oh, yes. I know that, Nora. As a matter of fact, one of them flew me from Oakland to San Francisco in an Army bomber, you know. Took two hours and ten minutes. Oh. But, Harry, that's only a ten-minute trip by air. Yeah, I know, but it took them two hours to get me in the plane. <laughs> All right. You go ahead and sing, Freddie and Nora. You don't have to leave me if you don't want to. I want to hear this anyway. Love letters. From your heart Keep up for me While apart I'm not alone In the night When I can have All the love Again, right from the start, love letters stray from your heart. I memorize every line. Come on, Leonard. The, the boathouse is to the right here. Hurry up, will you? Well, Harry, with so much to be done around the lodge, why are we going down to the lake? Well, some of the flyers visiting here may want to go rowing, Leonard. Huh? And while Freddie and Nora are fixing tonight's dinner, I'm going to make a deal for the use of the boats. I think the boys will enjoy that. Ah, good idea. Yeah. I'll see about renting some of the boats. Uh, pardon me, Miss. Uh, do you take care of these rowboats? I ain't drinking the water out of the bottom of them just because I'm thirsty. <laughs> Why, Harry, it's that girl from Brooklyn. Myrtle! Yeah! yeah. Myrtle, what are you doing here? Can't you see? I work here. Work? Work? No, you mean work, like in clerk. Yeah, work like in clerk. <laughs> Gee, you're a jerk. No, Myrtle, it, it's not joke, it's jerk. Okay, you're a jerk. <laughs> Look, Myrtle, how much is it to rent a boat? We have OPA prices. This boat here is $4 an hour, and that boat's $1 an hour. A dollar? No ceiling? No bottom. Yeah. No bottom. Um, how much is this? A dollar a couple. Uh, a dollar a couple? Hey, Harry, what? let's toss a coin to see who takes the first ride with Nora. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Gee, won't Freddie be sore? 
Gosh, if I'm lucky, it'll be me and her. If I'm lucky, it'll be me and her. If Nora's lucky, it'll be you and him. <laughs> Well, Leonard, how do you like the deal I made? Great, Harry. Buying out the boathouse was a smart idea. Oh, yeah, but the real stroke of genius was getting Myrtle to come and work for us. Now, with her helping around the lodge, you and I can relax a bit, you know. Look, after we put on the show for the Flyers tonight, I want to take you down to the village and show you something that will really thrill you. In the Penny Arcade? Yeah. They have a Penny Movie Picture Machine there. It... it you're over 21, aren't you, Leonard? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, stop breathing on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had to wait an hour to see this picture. Why? Well, there was a pilot in front of me with a six-hour pass, and he'd only been watching it five hours. Uh, oh, five hours? Yeah. Oh. Well, you see, kid, it's not every day you see a picture like this. What line? What a beauty. Well, what, what, oh, what was it? Oh, boy, what a thrill. The first airplane built by the Wright brothers. <laughs> The Wright Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Sure excites you, doesn't it, Leonard? Certainly. Think of the contribution they've made to mankind. Things like that thrill me. Even you thrill me, Harry. Oh, Leonard. Oh. <laughs> oh you don't mean that. Oh, but I do, Harry. Because you, too, make a great contribution to mankind. No, I, I don't do it, Leonard. It's really Salopatica that makes the great contribution. <laughs> Particularly on those mornings when you wake up feeling sick and headachy due to the need of a laxative. You see, sparkling sal hepatica taken then brings you quick, gentle relief, usually within an hour. And that means you don't have to risk feeling miserable all day waiting until night to take a laxative. And besides this quick, gentle relief, sparkling sal hepatica gives you the additional advantage of helping to sweeten an upset stomach by helping to reduce excess gastric acidity. So why not get a bottle of sal hepatica? Just remembering this caution used only as directed. Then, whenever you need a laxative, morning, noon, or night, see how much faster you feel better. Thanks to gentle, speedy Sal Hepatica. Now here's Nora Martin with Leonard Susan the orchestra in There's No You. I feel the autumn breeze. It feels off my pillow as soft as a willow the wind. And in it falls, let it sad, must be called, there's no you. The lonely autumn tree, how softly the sighing for summer the dying. They know that in my heart there's no gladness because there's no you. The part that we walk in the garden, we talk in how lonely may seem in the park. The stormy clouds hover and falling leaves hover, our favorite nook in the wall. any minute. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Harry? I'll get busy in the kitchen right now. I'll go with you, Nora. And if you just yell. But you stay out of there and she won't have to yell. <laughs> say, oh, say, oh. You should exciting stories tell. One of them, and go, and go. And although he couldn't see them when he landed, he knew there were jets all around him. 
How did he know they were Japs? He saw a skunk holding its nose. Nose. <laughs> Those flyers are great guys. Say, did you have any fun at the amusement park? Oh, I'll say. There are lots of girls. And I got in a boat and I went through the tunnel of love. Oh. Yeah. And it was pitch dark in there. Yeah. Oh, fun. You had your girl with you? What for? I ain't afraid of the dark. <laughs> Is a, who is afraid of the... One of the flyers here. Flyers here. Flyers here. Bless. We made it. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, listen, Leonard. They aren't afraid of anything. They go all over. Every day, they're in another country. They're in another country. Not this flyer. Love. Marty. Three, you know. Not this flyer. He's still in the tunnel of love. <laughs> it serves you right, Marty. Myrtle, where have you been? Right where you left me on the beach. But in my new bathing suit, don't think I wasn't the center of attraction. I had hundreds of men at my feet. Oh, really? Yeah. You'd think they'd never seen a girl with six toes before. <laughs> well, after all, Myrtle... <laughs> six toes? <laughs> Myrtle, you will admit that you're no Betty Grable. Betty Grable? Personally, I think she's got nothing. Yeah. I'd like to trade her something for her nothing. <laughs> Oh, I'll get the phone. Yeah. Oh, well, wait just a minute, Leonard. I heard you on the phone with Mrs. Anderson this morning. Look, when you speak to a 60-year-old lady, you don't say, Hi, babe. Don't say that. Remember, be polite with the guests. Don't forget, it's yes, madam. No, madam. Thank you, madam. You get it? Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yes, madam. Good. No, madam. Yes. Certainly, madam. Absolutely, madam. Thank you, madam. Goodbye. Well... Now, oh, you see, Leonard, that's acting like a gentleman. Very nice. By the way, who was that? General Williams. General... <laughs> what are you doing? Yes, madam. No, madam. To General Williams? What did the general say? He's arriving in time for dinner, and would you please meet him, madam? Now, cut that out. <laughs> madam, well, get busy, everybody. Gee, Be please. a flyer. That's what I want, a romantic man. A man who will walk with me and look at the moon, look at the stars... Look at the ocean. Why? Well, if he looks at me, I'm a dead pigeon. <laughs> ah, at a time like this, Freddie Martell has to start singing. Go ahead, Freddie. Oh, we are oceans apart. You're never out of my heart. I... Simply close my eyes and there you are There in the dawn's early light There in the still of the night I look behind a star and there you are There's a storm, I don't even hear the thunder My heart with love is so aflame I only hear each little raindrop Repeating your name And when the long day is through I dream of you I pretend you're there, and there you are. I simply close my eyes, and of my efforts, but I'll tell you, this will be unique. Mm -hmm. After all, usually when you serve lamb chops, what do you have on them? Paper panties. What are you putting on them? Bell-bottom trousers. <laughs> oh, that coat of nails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's silly, Harry. Come on, what did... Uh, come on. What? What do you, you do? Want to go back to yeah, it over again? <laughs> what did you do with the paper panties? What did I do with the paper panties? Yeah. What do you think I'm wearing? <laughs> 
Oh, boy, I made it funny. <laughs> Look, by the way, Leonard, keep an eye out for General Williams now, will you? You'll recognize him by the two stars he wears on his shoulders. You know what two stars mean. Oh, sure, he's got two sons in the service. <laughs> That's right. And General Eisenhower has five. Yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, hello, Freddy. Did you hit the dance floor all waxed like I told you? I sure did, Mr. Von Zell. Oh, Nora, save the first dance for me, will you? Thank you, Freddy. Gee, nobody never asks me for the first dance. But I got a system that never fails. I sit out every one except the last dance. What about the last dance? Thank you, I will. <laughs> it never fails. <laughs> Him a lesson. Look, Myrtle, don't worry about dancing now, will you? I'll introduce you to some of the flyers. Do you know how to dance the rumba? Only part of me. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> of course, if it's the right part, that's enough. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Von Zell. I think I should have called the escort bureau. Got me a denim and friend for tonight. It only cost $5. Five dollars? Oh, well, uh, well, uh, darling, uh, Eddie hasn't paid me recently, so for five dollars, I'd be very happy to chase you around the dance floor. You will? Yeah, but remember, if I catch you, it costs you ten. <laughs> I don't care, no, this. I'm in love with you. I guess I'll always be the Nothing you do or say will ever save me. I'm for you forever. You're my whole life through. That's how I am, and I don't care who knows it. I'm in love with you. I guess I'll always be this way Nothing you do or say will ever, ever, ever change me that's how I am And I don't care to know this I'm in love with Beautiful, Nora. Those Air Corps men will love you tonight. What was the title of that song? I don't care who knows it. Oh, I have a confession to make to you, Nora. What is it, Harry? Those words express my feelings about you, my very innermost thoughts. Why, Harry, this is amazing. I didn't know you cared. Oh, yes. Nora, in my dreams, when I hold your smooth and lovely hands, I think of... of yes, Harry? I think of Touche, the beforehand lotion. And I don't care who knows it. And, you know, I can't help it either because it's Touche that is the new idea in hand lotion. It's a creamy, fragrant lotion that's designed to help keep hands soft and smooth and lovely. You see, because Touche is the beforehand lotion, you can use it before you do dishes or tub your undies. Or Touche is so effective that it will help guard your hands even in hot, soapy water. Touche is wonderful, too, when used as a powder base. And it's perfect to help keep your legs soft and smooth, particularly in this particular... <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, guests gathered here at the lodge tonight, and you flyers, we do hope you're enjoying the show. Now, our salute to the United States Army Air Corps on the occasion of its 38th birthday would not be complete if we did not hear a few words from a fighting airman who played a leading part in every one of the seven invasions that ultimately brought about the defeat of Germany. As commander of the 9th United States Troop Carrier Command during the mass air landings all the way from North Africa to Berlin, he speaks with authority and experience. Here he is, the wearer of the Distinguished Service Medal, the American Legion, Merit of, uh, Legion of Merit, the Distinguished Flying Cross with Cluster, the French Legion of Honor, and the Croix de Guerre with Palms. General Paul L. Williams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Since that distant December morn, when Japan pulled the knife at Pearl Harbor, American air power has taken incredible strides. For all of us in the Army Air Forces, therefore, this date marks a proud and happy birthday indeed. Today we hold the knife, and Japan is our cake, and we are prepared to spice her if need be in a million parts. Our candles, deadly explosives, and incendiaries are even now burning furiously throughout the length and breadth breadth of Nippon, and lighting a brilliant path toward that inevitable victory ahead. We are not given to wishful thinking, however, but a realistic person must readily conclude that our air power might well constitute the decisive element in bring, bringing the nip to his knees, and a great deal earlier than would otherwise have been dreamed possible. However, we are poised for any eventuality. If Japan continues to ignore the handwriting in the skies, thereby necessitating invasion, Army air power will blast away. Then, our 9th Troop Cherry Command, now in the actual process of redeployment to the Pacific, will, as we did in the European theater, spearhead that actual invasion by delivering airborne forces at the very spots where it will hurt the Japs the most. I speak for all members of the Troop Cherry Command when I say that we were proud and happy to have contributed our share to the defeat of Germany. We are now anxious and ready to do our part in the ultimate overthrow of Japan. Air Force you represent. But now enjoy yourself with us, for here's Freddie Martin to entertain you with a song from the show that became the biggest hit on Broadway, while you were over there scoring a few hits yourself. It's If I Loved You from Carousel.
you very much, Freddie Martell. There's no extra charge for changing your name. Well, good night. Good night to you all. We're, you're welcome back at Cantor's Cozy Cabana next Wednesday night for more fun and more music, and we hope you'll see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget the two products that make our Wednesdays with you possible. Sal Hepatica for the smile of health, and True Shea's the beforehand lotion. Sal Hepatica, True Shea. This is Harry Bondell reminding you, we'd love to spend each Wednesday with you. Now, there's just one more reminder, friends, and that's to get a jar of Minute Rub when your back aches and your muscles are sore from too much exercise. For well, Minute Rub is a modern, quick-acting rub that helps bring speedy relief from those tired, aching muscles. All you do is rub Minute Rub on briskly. And in a minute, its counter-irritant and pain-relieving actions help bring soothing, welcome relief. And listen, here at last is a quick-acting rub that's also greaseless and stainless. Disappears like vanishing cream, so Minute Rub will not harm clothes or linen. Anytime you have muscular aches and pains caused by physical overexertion, get quick relief the modern way. The greaseless, stainless minute rub way. This is the National Broadcasting Company.